Breaking, breaking. Actress Tia Mowry struggle dating? Should she go back to her ex-husband or not? Now let's get to it. Alright guys, so what's up? I'm gonna try to do something different on my Instagram. I have entered the dating scene. And I thought that as I take off my makeup, I would share some of my horror stories. Of course, no names will be named. <laughs> I decided to go out on this date with this one guy. We decided to meet at a restaurant and I was like, okay, you know, fine. Let's okay, everyone. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to The Mix. Like this video, share this video and subscribe. Thank you all for your continued support. Today is Saturday. I hope your weekend has gotten off to a great start. All is well thus far with you guys, hopefully. And thank you all for tuning in. As always, thank you for your support, those domestically and internationally. Stay tuned, you guys. I will be doing a giveaway via comment picker soon. So let's get the comments jumping. You know, let's get some comments going. And generally speaking, when I do um, giveaways via comment picker, to, in order to retrieve the cash prize giveaway, if your name is selected or your handle is selected, you have to have Cash App or Zelle. So just to add that, those are the two payment transactions I use so far. I will expand in the future as my channel continues to grow. So as you can see, you guys, what this video is going to be about, show that little snippet in the beginning. Woo! Yes, Tia Mowry, miserably dating experiences or not. Does Tia regret divorcing her ex-husband, Corey? Hmm. Hmm. Let's get into some discussions, you guys. <laughs> okay, everyone. If you all follow Tia Mowry on social media, you may have seen that video, that clip floating around. Or or even if you don't follow her, you may have, you may have seen it just floating around anyway via TikTok or via YouTube. Um, she shared it with the world because it originated, I believe, from her IG account. So, yeah, she's sharing her business with the world about her dating, her most recent dating experience. Well, here is more of the clip. And then, you guys, I will come back with more of my commentary reaction. Let me share more of the clip with you guys, and then we'll get into a more broader, broader discussion. I to meet at a restaurant. Try that. What could go wrong? <laughs> now, mind you, I did know what this person looked like beforehand. Oh my God, I'm getting PTSD. So he ends up showing up and he's a lot shorter than I thought that he was gonna be, which was pretty interesting, but you know, no judgment here. But what was surprising to me was he ended up showing up with a grill in his mouth to a dinner. So the first thing that I'm thinking about as he sits down, to order his food is, oh my God, where is this grill going to go? I'm just really trying to figure out where is he going to put this grill? So our food finally comes to the table. And again, I'm just like, okay, where is this grill gonna go? <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, he's not just gonna take it out of his mouth and just put it on the table. Guess what? He took it out of his mouth and he put it on the table. Okay, everyone. So based on that clip, and this may be unpopular opinion, y'all. Yes, this may be an unpopular opinion to some ladies. I think, you guys, Tia should go back to her husband. Yep, 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 yep. yep. What do you all think? Drop some comments in the chat. Don't forget to hit that like and share this video. Share, like, and subscribe. It's free to do all of that. Okay, you guys, commercial break, commercial break. Okay, everyone, you see the Cash App right here? Yes, right here, right here, right here. Go ahead and hit the Cash App if you are interested in donating. All donations go toward content enhancement creation. Additional donation methods can be found in the description section of this post. Donations, likes, shares, comments, and most importantly, subscriptions helps this channel grow and evolve from a content creation space. So thank you guys for your continued support. Let's me jump right back to the topic but yeah so i mean what does tia think dating would be like post-divorce what does she really she really think so basically she said dude showed up with a grill in his mouth to dinner sounds like a hip-hop artist or some type of music artist in my opinion i don't know this to be true but it sounds like that's the type of guy she went on a date with and let me be clear you all i am not trying to rain on her parade and i am not above reproach 
But it's rough out here in these streets post-divorce. It is. And Tia is different income bracket. So hopefully she finds her Russell Wilson like Sierra did. But I wonder in this instance, in this case, did this guy reach out to Tia in terms of um, wanting to take her out on a date? You know, did he pursue her? Then she went ahead and made another comment like, wow, um, this is my dating experience of horrors. Um, okay, see ya. <laughs> excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, mama. You chose divorce. While you're sharing is, you know, for content purposes, obviously, for your Instagram, the world, you chose the dating life as opposed to married life. And unbeknownst to us, we don't know why you and Corey, you know, split. Truly, we don't know that. You guys, in my opinion, if we want to compare for hypothetical purposes and reasons, will she get any better than Corey Hart, her ex-husband? I am not saying it is not possible to find true love again after marriage, but when you are a woman of a different age and your income bracket is bracketing, yeah, good luck to you. <laughs> good luck, good luck. Like, girl, stop being the Lulu. Delusional. Where are Tia's friends? Where are her friends? And I say this respectfully. I'm not trying to pile on a woman, but this just seems so weird to me. The whole divorce did. I'm still side eyeing the divorce. So, granted, you guys, we don't know what truly took place um, and what happened in their marriage behind her reason for divorcing Corey. But what we do know, what I know for a fact, because <laughs> I follow both of them, you know, on a couple of their social media platforms, Corey was begging for his wife online. He was begging to save his marriage. So I witnessed the begging you know, from Corey. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, it takes a lot for a man to publicly profess his love and like, baby, please don't leave, baby, baby, please don't leave. And, you know, just trying to save his family. So I, I witnessed that for myself. But again, we have no idea how it was behind closed doors with Corey and Tia. Furthermore, you guys, everyone, in my opinion, deal breakers to end a marriage or any type of like relationship or partnership you're in, in my, this is my opinion and my thoughts. It's not exclusive to everyone. Do what you do for your own life, <laughs> your own relationship, you know, situations. Maybe one of the following could be considered a deal breaker, you guys, whether you are male or female. And this is number one, physical and emotional abuse. And number two, serial cheating. So those are the two reasons, in my opinion, will constitute a divorce or split, a huge split, you know. So if it's not what I just named, then sorry, ladies and gents, you played yourself. Like, what are we doing here? Are you all delusional or are you intentionally wanting to play in the streets or play chicken with a Mack truck post a divorce or post a breakup? Because that's what you're getting, possibly. Strong chance. And again, you guys, statistics, and I don't have them in front of me. Do a simple Google search. Statistics show chances of a 40 plus year old woman with kids, especially kids that are not at adult age, 18 plus, you know, finding that ideal guy or mate is slim to none. There's a small percentage. There's a small percentage because there's younger women out here, ladies, you know, so men over 40 or over 50 are likely to f be able to have you know pick up a letter especially if they have the coins <laughs> the coins as a beneficiary to back them up <laughs> you know so but yeah i really do think you guys also Corey will probably marry again before tia i'm sure Corey probably don't even want tia back even if she wanted him let me pause it right here but yeah i've done some content on tia she did i'm gonna matter of fact i'm just going to drop it in the description section of this post was it truly self-care or was you know she regret divorcing or was she excuse me was it really self-care or was she just seeking attention i really do think corey you guys will be more calculated with whom he's going to date in the future i see whomever he dates next is he's probably going to be a change changed man for that <laughs> woman probably what tia always wanted in him and again i don't know why they broke up why they why tia decided to divorce him and um like i said if it's not physical or emotional abu abuse or serial cheating then i just don't see that as a deal breaker but to each his own everyone has their own deal breakers and hers may be something um simple not something harsh or not something critical or crucial so but yeah but let me know your thoughts, you guys, down in the chat. Do you believe Tia uh, regrets divorcing her ex-husband? Seems like she's out here struggle dating. 
and it's looking a little cringe worthy <laughs> and like i said i know this is probably going to be unpopular opinion especially to the for the ladies but i mean come on now we have to be real with ourselves we have to really be real you know so i'm not saying that love can't happen after a certain age for anyone because it can but the possibilities is pretty slim slim to none especially for a woman so let me know your thoughts you guys down in the chat like this video share this video and i will talk to you all soon bye